Hello, hello. How you guys doing? Welcome back again to a new video. I know it's been a bit since I uploaded the last one, but hopefully from here on out, each week I can upload a new video just to help you learn Spanish an easier way. So for this lesson, we are going over the P sound, which is very similar to uh, your standard English um, sounding P, very plosive, the P sound overall, um, but with a slight different changes there. So we look at the screen, pretty much we're just looking at the general format of how this book teaches sounds and stuff like that, very simplistic. Um, so it has the vowels with the P sound. So with Spanish, P is sounds a lot like PE together, um, which would be pe. So pe. It's not super plus, it's not like pe, where you feel like that thing in your throat where it goes out. It's more of just like a pe, pe. You still feel the air come out of your, onto uh, your hand, but it's not super um, plosive like a b, you know, in English, re really pushing your your lips to do that. It's more of a pe, 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 p, p, pe kind of style. So we're gonna go over that pretty quickly. So we have ba, ba, pe, pe, pi, pi, po, po, pu, pu, right? Ba, pe, pi, po, pu. Let's go back, listen to it a few times until you feel that you kind of are copying what I'm doing in my sounds. So we can go with the examples here. First we have um, pipa, right? Pipa, just a cigar, a pipe thing, pretty much. Um, that's followed by papa. Now, asterisk for the bottom part. Uh, we'll see you later. So, pipa, papa, right? Next up we have pepe. Um, pretty old type of name you'll still see it sometimes here and there if you go to a uh, Latin country um, so you might see Pepe but it's not commonly used as a name per se it's like a nickname more um, so if someone's name was Pedro next one is Pipo even more of a rare name that you would really hear it's pretty old um, but it's a name nevertheless and for the last one here, we have papa, right? So this is an important note for this one specifically um, that you'll see throughout the book, uh, that there would be a little hash mark on top of a vowel. So that's just known as tilde. Um, and pretty much it just serves to give more emphasis to words. And by giving emphasis, it just means you elevate your voice a little bit higher or you elevate that sound to a, a little bit higher level just to give more pronunciation or annou announce it a little bit more. So, um, as I was saying before, if you look at the first one with potato, which is papa, right? And then we look at the second one, which is papa, father or dad, we'll see that pretty much that little enunciation helps it go up higher. So you have papa, and papa, ah, you just open up a little bit more your mouth. Um, that gives that enunciation a little bit more. You don't confuse both of them. And you'll see a lot of these ones have very similar ones. Um, some of the next examples help clarify that. So it's a quick review. You just have here, we have pipa, papa, and pepe. Now we can move on to the bottom part where it just gives you more words where the tilde comes into effect. So again, we have papa, papa. Then we have pio, pio, right? It's that pio, pio, 
that very monotone. You want to go pio, pio, and pretty much is the onomatopoeia for a uh, baby chick. The sound like pio 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 pio, <laughs> and the last one is pua, pua. So for that one, you really want to make sure not to enunciate the a, because it's not pua, pua. It's poo ah, poo ah. Just bringing that force at the beginning. Just poo ah. With some of these lessons, you'll see that there'll be like a side activity or a side thing to learn. Um, and with this one specifically, it has the numbers, right? So you're kind of getting a two for one um, in many of these lessons. It just helps you review, kind of get to know um, these words and sounds better. It's just one, two, three, four, five standard five um, so pretty much we can kind of go over that pretty quickly so you have uno right one u no dos um, it's more of a kind of a one word thing it's not like dos it's dos tres cuatro and cinco right uno dos tres cuatro cinco now don't worry if you feel like you can't pronounce it as we go through this whole book you'll find like you'll get the hang of these sounds and how they're used in spanish so that eventually you'll sound a little bit more natural in a sense if you have any preconception of sounds or words that you've heard before kind of take those out and kind of absorb these new styles in just so that it would help in your pronunciation uh, so yeah with all that um, hope you guys enjoyed this first video after the introduction um, and I really hope that you guys enjoy it let me know any feedback that you want to see anything else you want me to add um, and yeah with that, I shall see you all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>